strength knows no bounds! Sly! There's some kind of whirly blade gizmo in my way! If I get any closer, it's gonna turn me into Hippo Burger! Okay, Murray. Let me see if I can do something from my end.
break out that sword. Uh, I hope that helps Murray out. Great! Time to inflict my fists on that trap! Look as hungry as me! Take those cannons out first! I'll show those chumps how to use a cannon! Go, big guy. I'll meet you on the other side. Oh, nuts! Another one of those annoying, spinny things. I'll have to wait for Sly. Nice of you to join us. Sly, are you and Murray all right? Something knocked out communications. Did you take a fall? Sort of. It's a long story. But are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? It sure is. I can't wait to... Too bad you can't touch it. Wait, what? Sorry, Sly. If you touch anything, you're going to alert the guards. Just stepping on those coins could do it. 
You need to leave this treasure alone. And don't forget to use Salim's outfit to navigate the trickier jumps. Why, that priceless treasure is Sinbad's legendary goblet. History tells us it was recovered by your ancestor, Henrietta One-Eye Cooper, the famous female pirate, but not until the year 1616. Taking it now could cause any number of anomalies to the time continuum. <laughs> treasure is Sinbad's legendary goblet. History tells us it was recovered by your ancestor, Henrietta One-Eye Cooper, the famous female pirate, but not until the year 1616. Taking it now could cause any number of anomalies to the time continuum and the Cooper timeline. You might even prevent yourself from becoming a thief. <laughs> Point taken. You're mine! Cut these chains, no problem. <laughs> Murray should be good to go. Great! Time to inflict my fists on that track! Forget it, sharks! The Murray's not on the menu! I should take those cannons out first! Time to draw some cannonballs on this problem!
base be? All right! Sly, you should have a direct path at this point. We need to move fast after all this commotion. You get to the Tiger, and I'll find Murray a route out of these caverns. Easy. You don't want to become shark bait, Sly. I think you better step on it, Sly! That ship is starting to sink! Sly, that ship is definitely sinking! Get moving! This guy looks like Murray that time he won that burrito eating contest. That's a bad memory. Ugh, I couldn't ride in the van for months. Although, this is reminding me more of the time when Murray was brainwashed by the Contessa. However, this machine is using some kind of music to adjust his brainwaves and control his behavior. It's fascinating. In a completely obscene bad guy kind of way, of course. Well. I wouldn't mind having one of these to control Murray's appetite. According to my readings, it's too risky to just disconnect him. He might never come out of the trance. I need you to examine the device so I can hack it and shut it off. Good job, Sly. Time for me to open up a can of Wubaski. Now that switch.
Yeah, that's David. Who are you? Relax, pal. I'm a friend of Salim's. Oh, Salim. Did he give you anything for me? Like all the money he owes me for betting on the camel races? Uh, sorry. You'll have to take that up with him. I most certainly will. I've disabled the security system in the village, but Miss Decibel has retreated to her private office above the library. We need to get in there so we can plant a bug and find out what's going on. However, my schematics show the building is heavily secured, and it appears only someone with your climbing ability can gain access. I do not understand. How will putting an insect in there tell us anything? At most, it will just annoy her. No, not that kind of bug. This is a small device that can transmit sound so we can listen to her conversation. Oh, does it also bite? Look, don't worry about the bug. Right now, I need you to find a way into that study so you can let me in. I'll take over from there. All right, Bentley. I will find a way inside while you play with your bug. 